If you've ever been using your Mac and noticed its cursor suddenly blow up in size, you've actually discovered a feature, not a bug. It was introduced to Mac OS El Capitan back in 2015 and aimed to solve the problem of lost cursors. You see, back in the older days of Mac, users only had one display that maxed out around 17 to 20 inches, and notebooks were even smaller, so losing track of your cursor was rarely an issue. But as years passed, technology advanced, and the Mac began to feature larger, more pixel-dense displays. In 2004, Apple had released their largest yet, the 30-inch cinema display which had over 4 million pixels. And considering the Mac Pro could drive two of these at the same time, that meant users could be staring at 8 million pixels, and this is where things got a little complicated. Considering the Mac's cursor was made up of about 1,000 pixels, losing track of it among the other 8 million was fairly common. And subsequent products only made matters worse. The Retina iMac released in 2014 had almost 15 million pixels packed into a 27-inch display, with support for an additional external 4K monitor, which would put the total pixel count at 23 million. So you could see how a tiny cursor could be harder to locate. Apple knew the problem would only grow, as many Macs today support two external monitors, so in 2015 they added a new feature to macOS to remedy the issue where users could simply shake their mouse to enlarge the cursor, making it easier to find. Now if you wish it was always this size, you can keep the cursor enlarged permanently in the accessibility display settings by adjusting this slider. But many users, especially on MacBooks, would like to prevent the cursor from ever getting large, especially if they play games that require quick cursor movement. Apple lets you disable it by flipping this switch in the same accessibility display settings window from before. This is Greg with Apple Explained, thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.